G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Some time ago, I made a Kit Kat and M&M cake. It's one of my most popular videos. Everyone loves it, but I thought I'd reinvent it and make it even more fantastic. So join me today as I make my version of a Kit Kat and M&M rainbow ice cream cake. Now we're going to start this off by making a few layers of ice cream. So we'll be doing this in stages. So for our first layer, I'm into a mixing bowl. I'm going to place in about 600 mils of thickened cream or whipping cream and half a can or about 200 grams of sweetened condensed milk. So now using a hand mixer or a stair mixer, we're gonna whip this up for about two minutes until it's nice and fluffy. Okay, so as you can see, it is now nice and fluffy. And when you lift it up, see how you get that peak? They're called soft peaks. That's exactly the consistency that you're after. Now as this is the first layer, I'm going to leave it as white. So I'm going to make that a vanilla flavor. So I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And just quickly mix it through until it's combined. And that's all we have to do for that layer. Now next for the most important ingredient, the Kit Kats. So you're going to need a few packets. I'm using the family size block. Okay, so I'm going to use a spring form pan. And I've just lined it with non-stick baking paper. So what I've done is I've cut our Kit Kats into lots of two. That's just a perfect size for a slice of lovely ice cream cake. So with the Kit Kats facing out, we're going to just line the inside of our springform pan, just like so. So now we're just going to place our first layer of ice cream just in our pan and just carefully even it out. Okay, so once done, we're gonna place this in the freezer for about half an hour, just to give it a chance for that ice cream to set. So once our first layer is set, we're just going to repeat the process for each additional layer. So place in 300 mils of thickened cream, then another half a can or 200 grams of sweetened condensed milk, and then just whip it up until it's nice and fluffy. Now once it's whipped up, we're going to start adding in our colors. So for this first color, I'm going to add in some yellow. Now you can choose flavors that actually go with the colors. For example, this one, I'm going to use a banana flavored essence. So with these concentrated ones, you only need about a teaspoon or so, but mix it through, give it a taste, and if it's just strong enough, then that's enough. But you can also add as much or as little as you like. Or you can completely mix it up for your friends and use the opposite flavor of the color that you're using. So you can have a lot of fun with it. So I'm just gonna mix this through until it's combined. Okay, so I've just placed our yellow ice cream mixture on top of our vanilla, and I'm just evening it out. So once it's all evened out, we're going to place this into the freezer for another half an hour. And in half an hour, we're going to get started on our next color and flavor. And we're just going to do that for every flavor and color until we get almost to the very top. You want to leave a little bit of room just so we can fit our M&Ms on top. Now our last ingredient, I'm going to use a packet of M&Ms. So all we have to do now is just sprinkle on our M&Ms. Now it's best to do this before you put it back in the freezer. Just give a chance for those M&Ms to stick to the top level of the ice cream. Okay, so once done, I'm going to place this back in the freezer for a good eight hours, or preferably overnight, just to give it a chance to completely set. Now there we have a delicious rainbow ice cream Kit Kat and M&M cake. Boy, that's a mouthful. Now I've chosen five different ice cream flavors. I think that's a perfect number, but you can have more or less. So from the bottom to the top, I've gone with vanilla, banana, lime, bubble gum, and strawberry. But honestly, choose any flavor that you like and in any combination. You can even have a bit of fun and mix up the colors. So you can have a strawberry in the one that looks like a vanilla, for example. So as you can see, it was actually a very easy cake to make. But apart from how good it looks, the one thing that really matters is that it's going to taste simply delish. So give this a version a go and please put a photo up on my Facebook page because I just love to see what you guys make. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.